so welcome back to my channel this is gamer dom and this is um well it's a monumental game and i thought i'd feature it on the channel um just to show that you guys who like the lower tier tanks and what they're capable of this is um mac 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 um now it's clearly a reroll account he's done less than a thousand games his win rate is five fifty eight percent he's got over fifteen hundred um win eight so it's clearly a re-roller which you know i don't i never understand why people do this um to me pff, what does it matter what your stats are but there are plenty of stat twats out there i'm not showing this guy is but um he is anyway so he is in the super obese japanese tier five heavy tank the oi experimental now this thing is so much fun to play um, I really enjoyed playing it. I haven't, I think I've actually got rid of it now, but um, it, it's a great little tank, or big fat tank, to be honest. We're on mines, it's um, obviously an encounter game, and he's pushed straight into the cap, which I always favour when I'm in a big heavy tank. Um, no artillery, which is a godsend when you're in this sort of vehicle. Um, he obviously doesn't have six cents either because that. Uh, uh, um, a Covenanter would have auto spotted him being so close. And he's just hiding here behind the building, chilling out. He knows there's a Su 185, uh, a Su 85 on the other side, um, and he knows obviously there's Covenanters there. Missed his first shot, really was no chance of doing anything that with that shot. It looks to me like he's using the AP gun. I must admit, I always use the um, HE gun on this vehicle but uh, each their own um, so there's the suit suit can make a right mess of the armor on this OI especially if he comes outside on like he is there not the best play in the world so he may be a reroll but he's not the best uh, not performing the best at the moment that's for sure he could have angled beautifully on that on that building and taken down that, that suit as it was he, he took a Oh, the Sioux was firing HE, so he got away with it even more than he would otherwise have done. Trying to get a shot on, shot on that Type 95. But it's not... Be, oh, just about... Oh, nice shot right into the top of the turret. 313 damage on that Type 95. Didn't quite reload in time to have a pop at that T14, T14, the American uh, premium medium tank. Lands a lovely shot on him too, 310 damage. Can he finish him off? Yes, he can. T14's got some lovely frontal armour, but that wasn't going to help him there because again he was side on, and he's side on. You're not going to be, you're not getting the best out of your armour. So it looks like he's decided he's got to go a, a bit more aggressive. It's four to ten. Um, so it's going in against the. Oh, yay, yay, yay. If that Sioux had just been turned round, he would have been tracked and taken out. But as it was, the Sioux decided to go after our Covenanter. And as a result, he gets a free kill just like that. So five plays ten. He's got three kills. He's already done a thousand damage. That's the beauty of these sort of tanks. They. They rock, they rock it up in terms of damage. It's amazing how quickly suddenly you look at your score and you've got so many kills and so much damage and you just had no idea. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, that Panzer 25 really just didn't know what hit him. What well, he does now, I've been hit by a big ass Japanese heavy gun. Doesn't manage to pen the uh, T-34, is being shot at by the Type 95 on the hill, but he doesn't really have to worry about the 95. 95 is just uh, too low calibre to do anything to this behemoth of a heavy tank. And he's decided it's time to clear out some of these enemy tanks. He takes down the T-34, there's an a M3 Lee coming around the corner. He's now all alone against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, is it 8 or may have been nine, I didn't notice at what point his uh, colleague died. Eight or nine tanks, just him, in the cap. 
against all comers. Come on if you think you're hard enough, is probably what you would be saying at this point. He's lucky there is no artillery and that makes a huge difference when you're driving one of these super obese tanks. Uh, oh, here comes a Stuart. And there's an ELC. There goes an ELC. Takes an HE shell from the Type 95. The Lee's pop round got a bit of... Uh, grown a few balls by the look of it, but no joy at all. He can ignore that uh, Stuart behind him because the Stuart's got very little point of uh, penning him. But he swings around and blows him to uh, to meet his maker. He's now down to... Uh, oh, he's now got seven kills. There's one, two, three, four, five, six enemy vehicles left. Can he do it? Can he hold on in there? His repair kit is, is off cooldown, which is nice. This Lee is currently thinking to himself, why did I agree to come around the corner? Why didn't I just stay back at base and like everyone else is? But they're coming at him one by one, that's the problem. And if they'd, if they'd all swarmed him, he wouldn't have a hope. But as it is, now they're finally starting to move. You've got the Type 95, the AMX Duck has just been killed. Um, you've got the Hetzers coming in, the T28, but it's all very half-hearted. There goes that um, excuse of a tank, the Type 95. Now the Hetzer, if he's got an HE ship gun loaded, this could be a whole different kettle of fish. He was, but he manages to eat the HE shell. takes down the uh, T-28 playing round and round the houses with the Hetzer it's two plays one. Oh, there we go Hetzer got carried away and he's down two so 12 shots uh, 12 kills sorry um, he's in the cap alone there is a the Stuart's out there somewhere still now he was on the hill trying to shoot ineffectively down even though he was fine um, APCR that's what he was trying to do so rather than chase him around the map um, we decided to sit it out see what we can do that Stuart's going to have to come and fight it out or we'll cap out and here he comes here he comes Like the creep of death, isn't it? Oh, missed him. Pulling back, trying to angle against the building so he can take on the Stuart if the Stuart tries to poke around the corner. This is this could go on the rest of the match, just if they were clever here. Well, if the Stuart's clever, we'll see the ah, oh, and he wasn't clever. Oh and then <laughs> Then uh, Max missed him. And the Stuart's off to the races. He's had enough of this game. He says, hang on a minute, there's a big Japanese sumo wrestler chasing me. It's like one of those dreams I get every so often. It's at this point I should be putting the Benny Hill soundtrack on. <laughs> Apologies for everybody's ears there. So he's doing the right thing. He's backing out, trying to get out of automatic... No, he's gone back in again. If I was in his shoes at that point, I would have pulled back, made sure I was out of spot range, out of automatic spot range, and hope that the Stuart makes a mistake. As it is, he decided to go back in. Um... And really, this is tricky now. Still a lot of time, five minutes left. Come on, finish him off. OK, 
Okay. How well is this going to go on for? Stuart can't afford to face him. Oh, and he's not gone the wrong way. He's gone the wrong way. And there we go. Big, big shot. Unlucky not to kill him there. There's only five hit points left. He's round, rammed into an, uh, one of his friendly tanks who's dead on the ground and gets rammed for his troubles. And that's it. GG. Game over. I thought you'd like that game. I think it's, it was a real cracker in terms of seeing how an OI experimental can be played without the use of any premiums or anything else. It just bullied and bullied and bid. It was top tier. Um, but you know you can still get killed by those other tanks if you allow them to get around the side of you and he had a few flaky moments um, certainly early on he uh, rolling out in front of that uh, Sue was not a good good idea but um, you know pretty soon showed that he knows how to uh, get behind cover angle himself and then really it was just that final final kill that just dragged it out for a long long time as he tried to get that uh, that's Stuart, but I um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, enjoy your games. Have fun. Try not to take it too seriously. It is just a game after all. And I'll see you again soon. Gamer Dom, out.